Praise the Lord. Thank you. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can be gathered in your most holy name. Amen. We come now, Father, Lord, to sit at your feet. Yes. Lord, when we think of you, Lord, we realize, oh God, you are rich in mercy. Amen. And now you love your sons and your daughters to come before you, Lord oh, Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that what you've done in our lives, how you called us, how you've chosen yes. us and yes, placed us. Lord. Father, we know, Lord, when you call a man, oh God, you equip that man, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. You anoint us, oh God. Amen. And Father, then you send us out, oh God. We praise your name, yes, oh God. Lord. Yes. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can see clearly, oh God, and we know where we stand. We know who Amen. we are in this hour, Lord Jesus. Amen. I pray, Lord, you'll come tonight and speak to our hearts. Even, Lord, uh, your people that have come into the house of the Lord, I pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit will come down and meet with us at the point of our need. Lord, you know our needs differ one from another, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Father, Lord, more especially than anything tonight, I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will baptize each person, O oh God. Amen. With a double portion anointing, oh, oh God. Yeah. Father, we do not come you seeking your blessings and favor and Lord, all of these other things. Give us the Holy Ghost. Amen. Give us a spirit of wisdom, yes. of revelation, yes. of understanding. That's Amen. all we need for this life, oh God. Amen. And no, Lord, Father, that's how you're pouring yourself out. That's how you desire, yes. Lord, to fill this temple, oh God. The Shekinah glory coming down, oh God. Amen. And Father, tabernacling us, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, Lord, you said if you could only get one man who could surrender himself. Oh, yes, Lord, tonight Lord. we want to say we want to be that one yes. man, oh God. Yes. That one sister, Lord Jesus, yes. that wants to rededicate their lives to you, Father. Yes. We pray, Lord, to forgive us our sins, our faults, our yes. failures, our wrongs, oh God. Amen. Wrong thoughts, wrong desires, yes, Lord. Lord. Lord, the human element, Father, the flesh comes in the way, oh yes, God. Lord. But I pray, thank you, Lord, for the blood that cleanses Amen. us from sin and unbelief, oh God. And takes away all doubt, fear, carnality, Lord Jesus. We pray tonight, Lord, that you, when you break your bread, Lord, that you will satisfy our hungry souls, Lord Amen. Jesus. We're trusting in you, depending on you now. We ask these blessings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord to worship Him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm if you are rejoicing Amen. with the Amen. word. Amen. Good to see every one of you. Amen. I missed you on Sunday. Amen. Not being here with you. But I believe, amen, you were blessed with the word. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I have positive feedback about Sunday service. Amen. And I believe you were all blessed with the word of God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I was out there at uh, Ilary Tabernacle. And it was a privilege to be a part of the celebration of Pastor Dan Naidu. Amen. Having turned 80 years old. You know, the Lord had changed the years of man on the earth. And man was never meant to die. But after the fall... In Noah's time, he said man's days will be 120 years. Amen. But then sin had still crept in and then he reduced the number of years for man. Yes. And then you find in the Psalms, it's telling you that it's appointed to every man three score and ten. Yes. And he says it by virtue of grace, then 80 years. Amen. So the brother has seen 80 years. Some people live a bit longer. But amen. He's been faithful in the gospel, faithful steward of the Lord. Amen. He's been a faithful servant of God. So continue to pray for Pastor Dan. We're not sure, amen, how much longer the Lord will allow him to be here. But we need to give honor where honor is due. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. And we'd rather give them a rose while they're alive. Yes. Amen. amen. Now think about it this way. God called him to be one of the first men to be in an area where there was no Messi's church. And to do something and believe something that's rejected of men. Yes. They're calling you a cult. They're calling you all kinds of things. So you must really hear from God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. To be able to go out. Yes. Amen. To stand in the midst of criticism. Yes. Amen. To stand as one of the pioneers. There's nobody else. No other churches around. So you must have heard from God. Amen. He went out with the 10 meetings and he went out, amen, evangelizing. Amen. And the Lord has been gracious to him. I believe, amen. You know, the prophet says that he was taken up into this place and he was shown a time of rewards. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe our brother has a great reward in store. And Brother Branham says one soul attached yes. to your name. Yes. It'll be wrapped around your name for eternity. Amen. And he says one soul is worth 10,000 worlds. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we should do what we can to witness for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I was really happy to be there, part of the celebration, and share the word of the Lord. Uh, if you don't know, Amen. Pastor Dan actually dedicated me as a baby. 
Amen. So for me, it was a special privilege to be able to go there and honor the man of God Amen. for his 80th birthday. Amen. So he's been a pastor to pastors. Amen. Hallelujah. He's been a faithful Amen. servant of God. And we pray the Lord will continue to bless him. Amen. So let's turn to our Bibles. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's turn to Ephesians chapter 1. I want to say this to you this evening. Grace be to you Amen. and peace. Amen. From God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Amen. According as He had chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love now that's God's expectation of us Amen. <clears throat> having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will amen you may be seated praise the Lord amen so people in this life they live their lives wondering what their purpose is what am I really called for and nobody really can find the answer to it except we find it in the Word of God. Amen. When men probe, they probe and they look at maybe evolution and they probe at how they were formed on the earth. And they, science wants them to believe or the world system wants them to believe that they are a random act. There was no thought put into it. They just evolved out of nothing. Amen. That's what they're indoctrinating the people with. So they feel they are worth nothing, therefore they've gone through something now where they're going through a gender crisis. They don't even know their identity. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Whether they're a man or a woman. Yeah. They can't define what a woman is. They can't define what a man is. Amen. That has reached a level of insanity. Yeah. Amen. But what a comfort we have to know that we can go to the Word of God and not only tell you your origins, but also tell you what he predestinated you to become. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. To go to the word of God and show you not only your earthly journey in life, but show you your pre-existence. Yeah. Your earthly journey and your future home. Yes. Amen. Only the word of God can provide these answers. Amen. amen. So we stand here today, amen, as we are approaching the zero hour. Mm. Yes. Very important time for us now. Right. We are approaching the zero hour. Yes. Amen. That's right. And the countdown has brought us to this place. Yes. Amen. Amen. The countdown has brought us to this place. Yes. The countdown started in the yes. days of Elijah. Yes. Amen. In the days of the seventh angel. Amen. But the countdown has brought us to this zero hour. In Brother Branham's day, he would talk about three minutes to midnight. Yeah. I tell you, the clock has moved much further. Yeah. We are approaching the zero hour. Yeah. Amen. You know, the prophet will tell us in the message countdown, God doesn't count the way man counts. Yeah. Yes. They count 10, 9, 8, yeah. 7, 6. Counting off for a liftoff. Yeah. But God has been counting 1, 2, 3, Amen. 4, 5, 6. Ready for the seventh blast off. Amen. 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 So the countdown has brought us to this place. There's no denying six church ages has passed. Yeah. The latest here in seven church age is gone into gross darkness. Yeah, that's right. But the bright age is an age within an age. We know there's no eighth age. Amen. Amen. But the bride has been called out. Amen. Amen. Set apart. You find the calling out in Revelation 10. Amen. In the midst of gross darkness. Hallelujah. There's a, a rise and shine for thy light has come. Amen. Amen. That light is only coming to the predestinated of God. Yes. Amen. So we find our position here. How the Lord had blessed us with all spiritual blessings. So we are not in spiritual lack. Yes. We are blessed with all spiritual blessings. Yes. Amen. Yes. So we can live in our Father's kingdom. Enjoying Father's domain, yes. His kingdom, His authority and His yes. power. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. 
So we find the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Blessed. Amen. We walk in heavenly places. Amen. Hallelujah. We live in heavenly places. You may be going to your job, but you're going there knowing that you are in heavenly places. Amen. Your mind is not fixed on the things of this world. But your mind, your heart is turned heavenly. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you put up verse 4 there, you'll see he's saying, He hath chosen us in Him. Amen. You know, it's a wonderful thing to be chosen. Yes. When they're choosing soccer teams and you know you're the last guy, that's not a good feeling. Because you know, nobody wants you. Yeah. And because you're the last guy, they say, okay, never mind, come on outside. It's not a feeling to be liked, okay? And especially if you feel you're the cream of the crop. Hallelujah. But God has chosen us. Amen. And he didn't choose us because there was no one left to choose. He chose us because you were the best. Amen. He chose us because we were the cream of the crop. Amen. And he didn't choose you for the start. He chose you for the finish. Amen. Amen. Because you are a special class of people. Amen. Amen. You are not designed with a lion anointing. Amen. But you are designed with an eagle anointing. Special class of people designed and built a specific way, amen, to handle the conditions that have come upon the earth in this zero hour. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We see the effects of the four horse riders on the earth and the condition of the people. You got to know that this is not ordinary, the condition of the people and the way they're acting. This is not ordinary. Yes, that's right. They are influenced with demon powers. Amen. We see the condition of the people. We see the effects of the white horse rider. How he has deceived the old earth. Amen. With the religious deception, he has gone forth. Sitting in the temple of God. Amen. Brother Josh put it up there. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 3. Amen. We'll see this warning was given to us in the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. He tells us there. Amen. Let no man deceive you. Is the white horse rider one of deception? Yes. Let no man deceive you. Amen. By any means, they've come with all means to deceive the church. They brought entertainment into the church. They brought lights into the church. They brought music into the church. They brought the world into the church using any means to deceive God's people. Amen. They when people go to church, they want to experience the power of God. They want to experience the anointing of God. You do not go to church to be entertained. You go to church to worship God. Amen. You go to be identified with God and His people. We have not come here to be entertained. But the world, church world has, has turned it into an entertainment. Amen. They have comedy nights and they have all kinds of things. Amen. To keep the people busy. Hallelujah. For that day shall not come, except they come in falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. Now if you're going to fall away from everything, you must fall away from truth. And in these recent years, have we seen people fall away from truth? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God. Or that is worshipped so that he has God sit in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. Mm. Yes. Amen. The effects of the white horse rider. No. Religious deception is yes. looked on as the most holy man. Yeah, right. The prophet will tell us they are looking for a superman. Yeah. And superman is waiting in the wings. Amen. Watching. Amen. The effects of his ride. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm. He's no longer on that white horse. Yes. But the seeds that he has sown yes. has now come to full harvest. Yes. Seeds of deception. Yes. Amen. Religious deception. You may be thinking only Catholics. No. Yes. He's sold into Islam. Yes. He's sold yes. into the churches. Yes. He's sold, amen, uniting Hinduism. He's uniting all religions of the world. That's right. He's the man that will bring the communist in. Yeah. He's the man that will bring the atheist in. He's the man that will bring Sodom in. Yeah. He's the man for the hour. He is Satan's superman. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know that's in the seals. Amen. Yeah. Satan's superman. Yeah. The rider. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Amen. They are so deceived, amen, that they can't even see that the rider changes horses. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. We see the effects of the red horse rider with his religious and political powers. Amen. Amen. Wars and strifes that you're seeing on the earth is the effects of this rider. It's not because Ukraine wants to have a war with Russia. Russia wants Ukraine. It's not because uh, Hamas wants to attack Israel. It's the effects of the rider. That's right. That's right. Amen. The ride is going on. Amen. Amen. Throughout the land, the rider is riding. Wars going on on the earth right now. You'll find new wars. You'll find old wars. But it's the same demon powers. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. We're seeing the effects of the black horse rider. We are seeing, amen, his control over the economies of the world. His control, amen, how he controls economies, how he can make currencies crash, how he can make currencies rise, amen, how he's able to cripple countries. How they're able to cause Arab Springs, able to cause revolutions, able to cause civil wars. The effects of the ride. But I want you to know under the third seal, under his ride, there's a voice goes out. You cannot hurt the oil and the wine. Amen. Amen. You can't touch that. Amen. You can't touch the stimulation of revelation. Amen. Neither can you touch the oil. Amen. Hallelujah. That oil has been given to a special class of people. Amen. We see, amen, hallelujah, as he is riding. Amen. Ready now for the final ride of that pale horse. What is that? All the riders, all the colors mixed, combined. So when you see now, amen, he's moving now. The final plague of death. Like the final plague to Egypt was death. Now you see this rider moving with death. If you are partaking of this rider, you are going to receive death. He is only giving out death. And the Bible says, hell followed him. Hell follows the rider. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. His name is death, the Bible says. And hell follows him. We see the effects of supernatural demon powers upon the earth. Right. Amen. You, when, you, when you're hearing the prophet say there, Amen, that 200 million demons were let loose under Mussolini, Hitler, and Stalin. Amen. Hallelujah. They were let loose upon the earth. But I want you to know that a spirit without a body is illegal on the earth and it is powerless. So where are these 200 million demons? Amen. They are in bodies. Amen. They have pressed themselves into bodies. Amen. They have possessed bodies. These are 200 million demons that have come upon people. Amen. So you're looking for some supernatural spook. Amen. But they have possessed bodies, these 200 million demons. Amen. Amen. Man without the Holy Ghost, we see them completely insane. Completely insane. Yes. Have you ever tried talking to an insane person? How many of you have tried talking to an insane person? Amen. You cannot talk to an insane person. So talking to somebody, or oh, I pray you're listening to me, amen. Yes. Talking to somebody without the Holy Ghost is talking to an insane person. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. amen. Talking insanity no. upon the earth. Yes. Amen. Mm. The prophet says, I prophesy a time when the world will go completely insane. Yes. Right. Yeah. No. If this is not it, I don't know what is. Yes. Yes. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Right. Complete insanity. They exalt women, amen, as gods. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. A pile of flesh. Pile of flesh exalted as a sex object, as a sex symbol. Yes. Can exalt it to a point where men will go weak to their knees. Mm. For what? Amen. They give up power. They fall because of this. Amen. Want to remind you, the prophet says that a minister should watch money. He should watch women and he should watch popularity. Amen. He says these three could bring a downfall to your ministry. But it's not excluded to only the ministry. You can put that in your life. Amen. Yes. 
The admonition of the angel of God to the prophet telling him don't drink, don't smoke, don't defile your body in any way. For when you grow older, I have a work to you for you to do. It's nice to quote it about the prophet, but we can apply it in our lives. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we are seeing the effects of 200 million demons, supernatural demons coming upon the earth. Amen. We feel like we are living in an insane institution. Now, you ought to feel that way. Yeah. If you're comfortable here in Laodicea, if you're comfortable in sin, shake yourself. Amen. Don't let your conscience get seared with a hot iron. Amen. That you see the effects of Babylon. You see the effects of the latest in spirit and you're not moved or troubled by it. You're not crying out right. against it. Yes. That something is wrong. <clears throat> Amen. Hallelujah. Babylon the great has fallen, said the angel. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Babylon the great has fallen and become an habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. Amen. What is it? Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. You can put that up in Revelation 18 if you're writing it down. Amen. I want you to see what he's telling you here. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. The earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils. We just spoke about that now. Become the habitation of devils. Who has the legal authority on the earth? So they must possess these bodies. Amen. Become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. That is not your foul that you're thinking about now. It's become the hold of every foul spirit. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Babylon. Traps of a mighty hunter. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. How much longer can this world take with all the immorality? How much longer can God take or stand or stomach it with all the sin? Surely there's a cry in God's people. Amen. Surely there's a cry within us. Yes. Surely there's a groan within us. Amen. And, God, and you know, when the cries of God's people goes up, amen. Hallelujah. It ascends to heaven. And God hears the cries of his people. Amen. But as long as there is no cry, there is no desperation. When God heard the cries, amen. In the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, he came down to see what's happening. Amen. He came down in the days of Noah to see what was happening. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. God's people, amen, must ascend the heavenly realm through their prayer life. Yes. Amen. God's people must ascend the heavenly realm through their prayer life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God's people must ascend the heavenly realm through their prayer life. Your access to heaven is your prayer life. Amen. Yes. The key to bring down the presence of God oh, is your prayer life. Yes. The key to contact the supernatural is your prayer life. Amen. Yes. Right. The key to your maturity, the key to your spiritual maturity is through your prayer life. Amen. 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 But that's the thing that will be attacked. You're thinking, amen, I don't see 200 million demons attacking me. But you got no prayer life. Yeah. You're under attack. Right. You can't read the Bible. You're under attack. Amen. You can't hear the prophet's message. You're under attack. Yes. Amen. You can't listen to the fivefold ministry. You're under attack. Yes. Amen. This is the deception that's going on. Yes. And people wonder, where's the 200 million demons? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Samson, the Philistines are upon me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Show me your power. Show me your power, Samson. Yes. Show me your power. 
What did the prophet say? Weakest Christian on his knee. Oh, show me your power? You mean it's... That's why he took away the prayer life? That's why he cut your lock? You mean your prayer life is your lock of hair? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. I'm bringing this from a point of encouragement to show you your position of power and where it lays. Yes. Weakest Christian on their knees. Yes. Makes the kingdom of devil, sh devil shake. Amen. I know you don't feel like doing it. I know sometimes it's hard. But you've got to crucify the flesh. Amen. Oh, thank you. And now when you're down there on your knees, all kinds of thoughts coming into your head. Yeah. You've got to clear those things out. Right. You've got to focus. Yes. Amen. Don't just get up and go away. Amen. Amen. And say, Lord, my mind is all over the place. Focus. Amen. Take a scripture and keep repeating Amen. it. Amen. Amen. So look at a scripture. Meditate on that scripture until all the thoughts of the day have gone by. Yeah. All the other thoughts have gone out. Yes. Now you can focus on the scripture. Yes. You know, the prophet says an amazing thing. Giving us a secret to something. Statue of a perfect man. He said, I'll go into the woods. And I'll meditate on the Lord. And I'll just think on a number. And he says, I'll keep thinking on it. Like one times one is one times one is one. One times one is one. One times one or two times two and two times two. I mean, if you read it. The most connected man in the age is telling us something there. He says this thing will just keep coming. And he'll just keep meditating on it. And then all of a sudden something will break. He'll either break into a vision and he'll see something and the Spirit of God will tell him, go here, 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 here. Some of you are looking at me like you've never heard these things and the prophet will never Amen. say something like this. Amen. Amen. How many of you know the prophet explained the gift too much? The angel told him that. You've explained the gift too much. That's why they arose carnal impersonations. Now I ask you, if the carnal impersonators can study this life and ministry, and when he gave away too much, how about us students of his message? If he gave away too much, it's in there. Amen. Amen. So he says, if he doesn't break into a vision, it'll break into the word. And then he'll take his pen and start writing. Yes. Scripture upon scripture and he'll tie this with that. And he said he's got an habit of doing drawings. Mm -hmm. Amen. You'll see he's got an habit of doing drawings to, to bring it out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But he's taken away your lock of hair. He's taken away. He's come now. And you're thinking, the Pope can't deceive me. Antichrist can't deceive me. None of these things can deceive me. But he got the people defeated. Yes. But give me that whole time religion. Amen. Give me that whole time religion. Amen. Never mind that we got water and bread to heat at home. But it was good for Paul and Silas. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Never mind you got stripes on your back. Yes. Never mind you got all kinds of persecution coming against you. You just sing, it was good for Paul and Silas. Yes. Good for Paul and Silas. Amen. Wasn't there were debt all and some ointment. But they were praising our God. The praises were going up. They remained in patience in the midst of their prison trial. Amen. And they started to lift up their hands to heaven and worship the king. Worship the Lord. I tell you, that takes something. Maybe you're reading it as a story. Come, I whip you. Till your back gets opened in wounds. And see what you are thinking about. If you're curled up in a corner feeling sorry for yourself. Or you're trying to not move too much because any slight movement will bring excruciating pain to your body. The slightest sign of flu, we go to bed and we don't want to be disturbed. Even our prayer life gets affected. We can sleep for three days and take the doctor's prescription. And all the while, the spirituality is gone. But these men, 
in the midst of their open wounds. Amen. They say amen so that I know it's not you that I'm talking about. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> in the midst of their trial, in the midst of their open wounds, they started to lift their hands and praise the Lord. Amen. These things were given for our examples, the Bible says. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So they ascended. Ascend the heavenly realm through your prayer life. I said it now the fourth time. I'm going to say it the fourth time for grace. Amen. Ascend the heavenly realm through your prayer life. Yes. Amen. 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 So that the Lord can hear our cries and he must come down. Yes. Amen. We stand here today and say even so Lord Jesus come. Yes. Amen. Now you and I stand like we read there in Ephesians. You go and read that. Anybody ask you what's your purpose in life? Show them Ephesians 1, 3 from 3. That's my purpose. God wrote that about me. The position I'll come to. What he called me. Holy, unblameable. Predestinated to be sons, children of God. That's God wrote that about me. But we stand in this privileged position. How many of you feel it's a privileged position? What to be called from millions of people. Yes. Amen. What a privilege has been given to us. Yes. What an honor has been given to us. Amen. We stand in this heavenly position to be able to stand here and see things clearly the way we do. Yes. Amen. Without doubt, without reservation. Yes. Amen. We are using the looking glass of God's word. Amen. 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 And to see the whole book open before our very eyes. To see the entire book open before our eyes. What a privileged position we are in church. Amen. What a privileged position. To be able to see the mysteries of God. Because to you it has been given to know and understand the mysteries of God. The mysteries of the kingdom. Yes. Amen. To see and understand the revelations and the mysteries of God. That's the glory of God that's come upon us. To see and understand the revelation and understand the mysteries of God is the glory of God come upon us. Amen. In that day there shall be gross darkness cover the people. But arise and shine for thy light has come. Shalom to the bride. Amen. Shalom to the bride. There is light over you in the midst of darkness. God's word is shining over you. God's word stands here as a great spotlight, the great illuminating light to shine light upon our way. Amen. Thy word is a light unto my path, a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Amen. How much more when we are not looking to a glass darkly, but the book has been opened wide. Amen. It came down open from heaven. Amen. It came down full of revelation, full of knowledge. Amen. It came down in the midst of gross darkness to fulfill Isaiah 61's prophecy that you will arise and shine in this hour. I asked you, how are you arising? Amen. Are you shining? Amen. The light has come. You have light. Don't put it out. Amen. You have light. It's not a candle to be hid under a bushel. Amen. Your light is for your own protection. Yes. You know light is used for protection. Yes. In darkness they throw light for protection. To illuminate the path. To scare away burglars. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Your light is there. Amen. So that you can walk clearly. So that you will not stumble. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. What a privileged position. I'm saying it so many times. We are in a privileged position. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We are called to heavenly places. We are called. Didn't we read in John in Revelation 4? We are called to come up higher. Amen. While the later scene mess was going on, there's a knock on the door. Jesus is put outside the church. He tells them, if you overcome, if you open the door to me, you can come sit on my throne. Hello? And how do you, what do you know? Next chapter, somebody overcame. Somebody was elevated to a position to see things. Amen. Somebody was called to come up higher. Come up higher. Now I want you to know the sequence of events in that book is literally how we were. 
Later, see, I kicked him out. We opened the door. We were drawn into this elevated position. And we were taken into the throne room because the mystery of God must be revealed. Yes. Under the seventh angel's message according to Revelation 10.7. Yes. And we are shown the throne room and shown the one God. Amen. One sitting on the throne. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we are called to come up higher. Now, who was called to come up higher? His name was John. John is a type of the bride. Amen. John is a type of the bride. Amen. The bride was called up higher. Amen. What a privileged position has been given oh, to the bride. Yes. Amen. What a position. What a privileged call we have heard. Yes. Even our ears were anointed to hear this. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. A special class of people is what the prophet of the age called you. Yes. Give the Lord a good and clap of praise Amen. for being a special class of people. Amen. Special class of people who can handle the revelation. Amen. Not get confused. Amen. I want you to know there is no Babylon in the message of the hour. Right. How can there be confusion in the message of the hour? There is no confusion. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we are called to come up higher. When we read the news now, we see how things are being strategically placed, positioned, and aligned to fulfill the end time prophecies. Hallelujah. Uh, maybe maybe a few months ago, amen, before October the 7th, you don't think much about Israel being in wars and caught up in wars. Amen. But God was showing you, showing you what's happening to spiritual Israel. Because spiritual Israel connected with the angel of God in 2023. Amen. Uh, that takes faith to believe. Amen. Because it's God in simplicity. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Around the world, people didn't know, but they were connecting Exodus 23, verse 23. Amen. I sent my angel before thee. Yes. Amen. And the angel of God was connecting with the bride worldwide Amen. and started to change their oh, ministries yes. without them even knowing. Amen. Amen. Yes. That they all start to say the same thing. Amen. They all start to reposition the bride. They all start to reestablish, amen. amen. Yes. The believers. And they all start to talk about the Holy Ghost. And how to receive the Holy Ghost. And how to come back into your land. Yes. But that was spiritual Israel. Taking up the fight. Connecting with the angel of God. Amen. amen. But then watch the attack come upon Natural Israel. Tenth month, seven day. Spiritual attack on natural Israel. Why? 200 million demons. Now, I ask you to identify the attack on spiritual Israel. Identify the attack on your life. See how he's taken away. See how maybe he's made you compromise. See how he's been attacking. That's just uh, what you're seeing happen in the news to natural Israel is only a sign for you to wake up. Yes. Yeah. And take, be aware. Because they were taken unawares. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. But you have watchmen on the tower. Amen. That this bride will not be taken unawares Amen. to keep you in remembrance of the prophet's message. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. To keep you, amen, fed in the time of famine. To keep spiritual food being poured out to the people. Amen. So when we read the news, we can see everything realigning, amen. shifting, shaping. Amen. Politics. Amen. America telling Israel, please don't attack Iran. Don't retaliate. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This, I'm saying it again. This is a privileged position to be able to see these things. This is the bride's privileges. Amen. This privilege is given to sons, born sons, yeah. trained sons. Amen. Sons who have gone through an experience. Amen. All the reassuring words of Father's voice. The reassuring words of Father's voice. Amen. 
What are you talking about? The reassuring words of daddy's voice. Yes. yes. Son, I was with you at your birth. Amen. Son, I am with you at your adoption. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Father was there at your birth. Yes. Father was there when you received the Holy Ghost. Amen. Father is here when you are ready to be adopted. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. He's come to empower you this time. Yes. And in this season. Yes. Where you'll obtain everything except the new body. But you'll be in position yes. of authority and power. Yes. The Amen. only thing you'll be lacking in this time and season yes. is the new body. Amen. But in position and in authority. You stand Amen. here knowing you're a son of a king. Amen. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Amen. Praise Thank the Lord. Lord. Thank you Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Born sons, strange sons, amen. Holy Ghost filled sons and daughters of God. We see these things going on with eagle eyes. And we understand the times and the seasons, amen. This is not given to somebody else. This privileged position is not given to all the denominational preachers. I could name them right now, but I don't want to waste my time, amen. This ought to be treasured. This ought to be valued. It ought to be appreciated. Amen. We ought to have a heart of gratitude. Come before the Lord every morning. Come before the Lord every evening. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that yes. you have called me to this position, oh God. Yes. Father, this is a sacred trust that's been given to oh, me. Yes. And I value this position you have given to me, oh God. Help me, Lord, not to squander my inheritance. Yes. Amen. This is not the time and the season to be a prodigal son. This is the time you ought to be returning back to Father's house. Amen. And if you have been a prodigal son, maybe you've squandered all of Father's inheritance. Amen. Father's inheritance, he's gifted you, but you squandered the gifts. Amen. He's placed you for a specific anointing, but you squandered the anointing. When you come back to Father's house, he's going to re-anoint you. He's going to re-gift you. Amen. Amen. If you come back to Father's house, don't come with a mentality of servanthood. Here in Father's house, he's going to put you back in your position. Amen. That's what the ministry of Malachi 4 or 5 comes to do. Amen. To turn your heart and put Amen. you back in your position. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Amen. 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 we got to realize who our father is. Amen. Amen. We talk about that slave. Amen. Who stood upright in the midst of slavery. In the midst of terrible conditions around him. He stood as a son of a king. I'm asking you. Can you stand as a son and daughter of the king? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now maybe you're thinking you're just ordinary. I want you to know you are not ordinary. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody talk to yourself. Say I'm not ordinary. Yes. I am not ordinary. Amen. In fact, I am a supernatural being. Yes. I'm a supernatural being. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must treasure this position that's been given us. We must appreciate the position given us. Amen. We must have the heart of gratitude. Amen. In what we have in the form of the message of the hour. The sharp message. Amen. To gather the living saints. In fact, it's actually, it's quite sad talking to buzzards. Amen. It's quite sad talking to chickens. Amen. Yeah. Because you cannot relate anymore. Yes. Yes. When you talk to chickens and buzzards, they are talking chicken language, foul language, amen. And sometimes you've got to come down to their level because they associate with you in form of friends and families. And now you come there and you're hearing them chatter, 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 chatter. But you just come from heavenly places amen. and this language is foreign to you. Amen. Amen. You can't stomach that thing and you want to fly back up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You, this is not the time, amen, for a season of debate and the season of fussing yeah. and the season of fighting. Yeah. The time has come to position ourselves amen. in our ought to be condition. Amen. Why do you think the Bible says, let him that's filthy be filthy and let him that's amen. unholy be unholy. Amen. Let him that's holy be holy. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why the Apostle Paul, he reached such a level. He said, let us put away those childish things. Yeah. Like fussing on doctrines of this and that and this and that. Baptisms and Godheads and all of these things. And he says, let us move on to perfection. Amen. I would have loved to have this.
conversation with you maybe five years ago or ten years ago, but right now my focus is changed. Right now my diet has changed. Amen. Right now my sight is fixed heavenly. Amen. 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 So we want to thank the Lord that has been rich in mercy, like the Bible says in Ephesians. He's been the God of grace. Amen. He's been the God of mercy. Amen. Many times Satan could have ended our lives. Many times Satan come upon us. We could have been despondent, given up, left the message of the hour. Amen. People attacked us. Amen. Maybe sometimes you felt oppressed. Amen. Maybe you, sometimes you felt the attack so strong upon your life. You didn't know which way to turn. You just felt like giving up. But something kept holding you. Amen. Amen. Something told you, hold on. Amen. You felt the tug within you. Praise the Lord. Rich in mercy is our God. Amen. He's full of grace and he's poured his grace upon me. Called us to this elevated position so that we can see afar off. We don't have to be earth bound and trapped by later seeing spirits in the chicken yard. But I can soar like a flying eagle because I've been equipped with the spirit of a flying eagle. Amen. The bright under messenger. Amen. Becomes the final voice to the final age. Some people call their own prophet a liar. Some people call their own prophet a liar. And now if you know, sometimes they don't physically say it with words, but there's a saying that actions speak louder than words. So they call their own prophet a liar. In fact, they call their own father a liar. Because their father said, the bride under a messenger becomes the final voice to the final age your father said it now you're gonna make your father a liar by denying it by silencing the final voice amen but when we are flying now, soaring, amen, we are not bumping into any other birds. Yeah. We only should be bumping into eagles. Amen. We should only be fellowshipping with eagles. Amen. The fellowship of eagles, amen, hallelujah. You're bumping into other birds, you know you're flying too low. Amen, you got to take a little higher. Go a little higher. Go a little higher. You know the prophet of the age was caught up. In a constellation of angels. His position was elevated. Position was elevated. I was hearing a brother say this and it really got me to think. Maybe we didn't understand those things too well. Maybe we don't understand it to its full effect. What happened? He's caught up in the constellation of angels. And he's trying to describe it. Hello? You believe the prophet was caught up? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can read in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John when they are telling you the account of when Jesus is lifted up into a cloud on Mount Transfiguration. And now they entered into the cloud. Yeah. Yes. Amen. So ask yourself this. When science took the picture they measured it at being 26 miles high and 30 miles wide. But the striking thing is, because you think the prophet maybe was caught up here, there. There is no oxygen at 26 miles high. Hello? So how can he breathe there? They say at that altitude, you can't breathe. You will die. So what happened to you? Hello? Why are you looking away? <laughs> I'm asking you to face up to the question. Come I go put you 26 miles high and see. He says in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, whoosh, faster than you can blink your eyes. He's trying to tell you something there. Yeah. <clears throat> Quicker than you can blink your eyes. Whoosh, 
He was caught up into the constellation of angels. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Food for thought, right? You can think about it. I didn't even tell you anything. I just asked you something and I told you, can you breathe it? That's all I asked you. Amen. Caught up in this constellation. Caught up. Now, you know, when we're in an astronaut age, right? I'm closing now. We're in an astronaut age. When you're an astronaut, you go through training. There's a time for training. Simulation. Simulation training. Mark 16 scriptures. Call the elders of the church. Simulation training. But there's a time when the training now must put you in your suit. It's no ordinary suit. You can't go there with this suit in that spaceship. Hello? Yes. You can't go with an ordinary clothing into that spaceship. You've got to have specialized garment. Amen. And this garment is not just given to anyone on the street. You've got to be called, chosen. You've got to be trained, right? And then they send you. So I just I just detailed there the four stages. Because I'm showing you five fingers, I know. Four four stages. Because under justification, the prophet says you are like that glass who is chosen. You're selected. Then that glass, as dirty as it may be, so remember that word chosen now. You're chosen, selected there. As dirty as it may be, they now wash you. That sanctification. Right? After you are sanctified, you must be anointed. Amen. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And now, the fourth stage, so you're called, so you're chosen, you're chosen, you're cleansed, you're anointed, and then you are sent. Amen. Amen. So you're chosen, you're cleansed, anointed, and sent. That is why in Revelation 10, 11 there, the bride is sent. Because she had reached that stage. Therefore, she can be sent. Amen. Amen. So now it comes time to sit in that. You must sit in a specialized aircraft. Because, because the man that's living in this world is living in a world unto himself. That nobody knows nothing about. You'll know I'm in perfect faith message now. To be sitting in that spacecraft, you're sitting in a world of your own. That nobody else, the outside person knows nothing about. Sitting in that spacecraft, waiting for... Now when you are there, you are not connected with natural beings. You are connected with a supernatural source. You can hear them. A control tower. Yeah. Your life depends on the control tower. Yeah. And if you have no communication with the control tower, something is going to happen to you. You're going to get lost in space. So communication with the control tower is important. You've got to hear the countdown. And I said we are reaching the zero hour. Are you safely? Have you got your wedding garment? I'm asking you. Amen. Have you got the right garment? Amen. Have you got the, are you in the right vehicle? Yes. The spacecraft, the message of the hour Amen. is the right vehicle that you're sitting in now. Thank all strapped in. Thank you. Countdown. Yeah. Waiting for blast off. Whew. Soaring through the heavenlies. Soaring through all the spheres, stratosphere and all of these spheres, breaking through, sound barrier, breaking through until you are soaring into the heavenlies. Amen. He's equipped us now. And that's where we are right now. We're not on the outside. Adoption time is not training time. Adoption time, training is over. 
ceremony time. Wants to hear feedback from the tutor. Feedback from the tutor to say, how is my son done? Can he handle the pressure in this cabin? You see, in order for you to understand that, you've got to go and look at how the pressure in that cabin, in a spacecraft, how that thing shakes when it's breaking through, the fire in the engines, and they're breaking through, pressurized. Can they handle the pressure? In your time of trying, that's why I preached that message last week, in your time of trying, can you handle the pressure? Can you stay in patience? Because patience has a perfect work. Can we use the word as wisdom now? Amen. The word revealed to us can be applied and use it as wisdom because we are ready for takeoff. So I've said a lot of things tonight. Amen. I pray that something would have helped you tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you to fix your eyes. Stay in the aircraft. Yes. Stay fixed. Focused. Get ready for takeoff. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why are we waiting for takeoff? We are waiting for some passengers who are in the sixth dimension to join us. Amen. We should be living such lives now where we are not thinking, I'm going to take five years to get my life in order. We ought to be ready in the spacecraft, ready, because when we are ready, he says that when this bride will be so ready that the only thing left will be for the resurrection of the saints. Nothing can be held back anymore. They must come out of the graves and join us. And then it's... So remember, them with us, without us cannot be made perfect. Neither can we leave the earth without them. Yes. They've got to join us. Amen. They've got, there's going to be a great reunion one of these days. Amen. You don't miss it. Amen. Amen. If you lost your lock, get it back. Amen. Say one more time, Lord. Let's stand together. Amen. Say one more time, Jesus. One more time. One more time, Jesus. Yes. Oh, once more, Lord. Oh, yes. Once more, Lord. You know, the prophet would say, I don't really want to say much more, but this thought just comes to my head. The prophet says that when the inspector comes, he's checking to look for that seal. Holy Ghost seal now. And he, he goes on to detail it in this way, very strange and unusual way. He says he's come to see. You know, he's talking about loose things in the, in the container. Then he says that he wants to see if you're a little loose about your prayer life. A little loose with your tongue. And he goes into those areas. So check if anything is loose tonight. I don't know if you know that God has given us power to loose and to bind so I want you to bind your tongue if it's too loose bind your tongue if it's too loose control the tongue control your thoughts amen, amen. praise the Lord hallelujah amen let's just raise our hands to the Lord father we thank you Lord that tonight we can come under your revealed word and Father, your word can come, Lord Jesus, to help us, Father. And to position us, O oh God. To show us, Lord, where we ought to be positioned strategically right now. Ready for the resurrection of the sleeping saints. Lord, how we've been through these years of training. Years of trial, O oh God. Place of trying, Lord Jesus. Bringing us to perfection. Lord, tonight we come, Father, seeking your face. Lord, if we've been loose with our prayer life, we say sorry. If we've been loose, oh God, with our Bible reading, we say sorry, Lord Jesus. If we've been loose, oh God, with our tongue, if we've been loose, oh God, not displaying the Christian love, not displaying the Christian attitude, tonight we repent of it, Lord Jesus. Forgive us, wash us, cleanse us, Lord. Lord, you've chosen us, you cleansed us, you anointed us, and now you sent us, Lord. Father, one of these days will be united with you, Lord. What a glorious day that will be, Father. Lord, to be united with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We pray, Lord, that you bless every saint, Lord, that has come into the house with a hand raised to you. Seeking you, Lord, for deliverance, O oh God. Seeking you, Lord, for a closer walk with you, Lord Jesus. 
And I pray, Lord, that they will go out and influence their friends, their families. Lord Jesus, help them to be disciples of God wherever they go, Lord Jesus. To share the good news of Jesus, oh God. And what he's doing in this time and season, Lord. And tell the people, you better come while the doors are still open. Because one of these days, the doors will be shut. And you can't come in, oh God. I pray, Lord, that you put a zeal upon the young people, oh God. To be a witness for you, Lord Jesus. An effective witness, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will come. Even now, Lord Jesus. And Father, fill one and all, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we are so desperate for you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What a glorious God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, he's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. The name above every other name. The name at which demons tremble. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Praises, praises from your mouth. Amen. Give him praise. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let your anointing flow, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed be your holy name, O oh God. We lift up our hands, O oh God, in the midst of trial, in the midst of circumstance, O oh God. Father, Lord, like Paul and Silas, we give you thanks, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. We say we will praise your name, O oh God. We exalt your name, O oh God. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the great light that is shining in our hearts, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for the message of the hour, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have called us, O oh God, from the darkness of this world, O oh God. God. And you set us in light, O oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the guide, O oh God. We thank you for the teacher, Lord. We thank you for the spirit of truth. We thank you for the wisdom, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you have not left us, O oh God, but you have come back for Eve in this hour, Lord Jesus. You have come to equip Eve in this hour, Lord. Father, yes, she was trapped in a Babylonian system, trapped in Satan's Eden, O oh God. But you've come in a rescue mission to rescue Eve, O oh God. You've come to empower, O oh God, to put her back in a rightful position, O oh God. Oh, we bless your name, Lord Jesus. How we love you, how we love you, how we love you, how we praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory, 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 glory be your name, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your name. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The angel of the Lord is here. The angel of the Lord is here. The atmosphere, the angel of the Lord is here. The angel of the Lord is here. Oh, the power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord is here. Angel of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The angel of the Lord is here. Oh, the angel of the Lord is here. Yes, the angel of the Lord is here. Bless your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Angel of God. Oh, I have sent my angel before thee to keep thee in the way. Thank you, Jesus, for the leadership. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of truth. Thank you, Lord, for the guide, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, 
your name a special position a privileged position we've been given in this time a special class of people amen hallelujah all oh, be grateful church amen. amen hallelujah 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 thank, thank you jesus you. amen thank praise you. the name of jesus thank amen we'll ask brother caleb to close in prayer even as we dismiss Yes, Lord. Oh, help us to send the heavenly realm, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, you have revealed so much to us, Lord God. And Lord, all we can say is we want more and more. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Father. We've seen the transition, oh Lord, year after year, oh God. When you speak it, Lord, Lord, you are shifting a year in our lives. Oh, yes. Lord, the way your word is coming forth to cut us and mold us, oh Lord. Father, truly we can see the bigger picture, oh Lord, where you are preparing us, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, for that faster age, oh God. Yes, Lord. For that quickening time, oh Lord. Oh Lord, how soon it is, oh Lord. We've seen the events, Lord, transpire, oh God. Lord, all it does is help us to get ready. Yes, oh Lord. Lord Thank you, Jesus. Father, may we leave this place, oh Lord, and change people, oh God. Yes. And Father, focus on you, oh Lord. Father, even as we leave, may your Holy Spirit be with us in the yes. first of this week, O oh Lord. Amen. Even as, Lord, we prepare to come back, O oh Lord. Father, we pray to hear from you and yes, your Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you are glory, doing. Glory, glory, glory be in your name. Your Holy Spirit, Lord, follow each and every one in their thank respective you, homes, O oh Lord. And Father, you know each need, O oh God. And Father, you know where we are lacking in yes, our lives, O oh Father. Yes. Lord, may you tighten all those loose ends. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, Father. Father. Lord, we pray. Help us, Lord Jesus. In your hands, Father. In Jesus' name. More and more of you, Lord Jesus. Amen.
Amen. Blessed be Amen. Amen. You may be seated. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Amen. May His face shine upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll meet again on Sunday. Amen. At 10 a.m.